Hey guys, Angel here. So excited about today's video because today I'm going to share with you how I was able to gain over 10,000 amazing human beings following me on Instagram. And if you want to grow your Instagram account, stick around to the end and hopefully you can take something from this video that will help you build your Instagram account. Okay, so before we get into this video, I want to do a disclaimer. I am not an expert on Amazon, Amazon, or I'm an expert shopper on Amazon. I am not an expert when it comes to Instagram. However, I was able to gain over 10,000 amazing human beings connected to me on Instagram. And I'm going to share with you how I was able to do it. And I don't know why people ask me this question. Well, I think I know why people ask me this question all the time. It's probably because I'm not following anybody on Instagram. So people want, are curious to know, how did I get 10,000 people to connect with me on Instagram, but I'm not following anybody, I guess. And I've actually gotten some heat for that. People have um, emailed me and sent me messages uh, saying that I think I'm too good for people. That's why I don't follow anybody on Instagram. That is like so far from the truth. I have this motto where I say that I do what they do. They are the people that I look up to, like a Beyonce or an Oprah Winfrey. If you go to their account, who are they following? Okay, so I just like to do what people do that I look up to. People say, don't be a cat copycat. And I like to say, well, make sure you're copying the right cat. So there was no strategy in that whatsoever. It was just that. I do what they do okay so I guess that's why people are so intrigued why I or how I was able to gain over 10,000 people uh, on Instagram so number one what I did like I said I'm gonna tell you what I did I am nowhere near an expert but I will share an expert resource with you at the end of this video um, what I did was knowing who my audience is that's number one know who your audience is know who it is that you want to attract that's number one. And when you think about the accounts on Instagram that do have large followings, they are really niche when you look at fitness accounts or funny accounts or um, food accounts, keto accounts, business accounts, model accounts, hair accounts. Those pages have large followings because they're like, it's one thing that they're talking about. So that's the first thing that I did. I honed in on who it is that I wanted to work with and that is other life coaches. That's number one. Number two is that I created visual consistency, meaning that my Instagram kind of looks the same uh, with the colors, the fonts, and I'm a pretty picture type girl. I love pretty pictures. I love pretty, I like for my house to be pretty, and like, I just like everything to be pretty, so I like taking pretty pictures, and it's not like I do it for the gram, like my desk really is a pretty desk, and it's intentional because that's what inspires me so I do have an Instagram desk I have an Instagram living room I have an Instagram bathroom like I like pretty things and so the things around me are really pretty so it doesn't matter which way I point the camera it's gonna be a pretty shot because I create because I created that atmosphere for myself and so create some kind of visual consistency so that when people see your post they'll know that it's you and also you can also uh, put your name on the bottom of each, each post that you post so that people will get to know that oh this is Angel Richardson or oh this is Sandy Smith because they keep seeing your name just brand your content you know what I'm saying number three number three is to teach something on your Instagram this is so important you guys when you teach something you give people an opportunity to see that you have the goods or you have the solution to their problem I do this all the time I'll say five things that you can do right now as a brand new life coach or five things that every life coach can do on a Sunday and I actually teach and I give the tips you want to do that because that's valuable content and actionable content that somebody can read and actually do something right away after they're done reading it and a lot of people like to just share motivational quotes on Instagram and all of that is fine it has its place but if the motivational quote is your quote obviously yes but you definitely want to teach something and not just be rah-rah motivational if you post a lot of motivational quotes on Instagram you're not really giving people anything to kind of come back for because they can find that motivational quote on Instagram or on Pinterest but when you teach something you're giving people your thoughts 
thumbprint, your voice, your wisdom, and it makes them want to come back for more if they like you. So that's number three. Which leads me to number four is to go live. Oh my goodness, you guys, I was so against going live because I was like, I'm a YouTube girl. I don't want you guys to see when I forget to say something or if I can't pronounce a word on um, Instagram Live or Facebook Live. Like, you cannot. You're live. There is no editing. There is no, oops, didn't mean to say that. Let me rewind that and cut that part out. And so I was so against going live because I often forget what I'm going to say. And if you even knew what was going on behind this camera in this video, oh my God. <laughs> so going live gives people an opportunity to talk to you in real time and let's just face it the way that the world is now people want to see you taste you feel you they want to feel your energy live you know this is one thing that I always say that you know I often tell people don't do what everybody else is doing this is the one thing that I say do what everybody else is doing make sure that you go live because people are getting used to that and a lot of people I've heard that uh, people have told me that they won't even buy from somebody if they won't if they don't see them live and let me tell you something else I don't know why it is well I do know why because energy energy sells but every time I go live every time I go live I sell something even if my intention wasn't to go on live to sell or to pitch a class or to promote a product that I just launched it doesn't matter if I just go live to, to answer a question or if I just go live and I'm just praying with you guys or if I'm meditating with you guys it never fails I always sell something doesn't matter why I'm going live I always sell something so make sure you go live number five is create shareable content now when I say create shareable content, you're like, what does that mean? Creating shareable content is content that you create that is very high in value or it's a really, really good quote. Now, I'm going to show you guys a prime example of this. I actually posted this post a while ago and I was at like 9,968 followers or something like that. And you guys, if you've seen my other video where I share my testimony of Miss Cece, the Instagram chick, one day she actually took that quote that I just showed you. She took that quote and she posted it on her page. And you can see her page right here. She posted it on her page. And if you see at the time, she has so many more followers now. But at the time, she had like 230 something thousand followers. At that time, I had under 10,000. It was like 9,968, something like that at the time. And so I woke up one morning and she had taken my post and posted it on her account. Now, what do you think is going to happen? If somebody with over 200,000 uh, followers posts your post, it gives you exposure to their audience. And that was the thing that took me over the 10,000 mark. And I was so excited. Like, I even sent her um, a mess, a DM. I was like, I'll post it here. And I, I'm so sure that she won't mind me sharing this. But I was like, Cece, like, why do you do me like this? Because this is like the third time or a second or third time no I think either third time that she's posted or reposted content from me from my page and whenever that has happened whenever she's done that it has literally like blew my account up like I will get like three to four hundred new people connected to me on Instagram in a matter of like day or not days in a matter of like hours like I'll keep opening my Instagram and it'll be like 17 new followers 78 new followers 13 new followers and I was like CC just why do you love me like this so that was one of the ways that I was able to reach over 10,000 was creating shareable content another thing that I did as far as like the share when I say shareable content you can't like plan this you really can't plan this it's just you create a post and somebody likes it and then they just repost it so I call it shareable content it's not something that you can intentionally do and hope and wish and pray that somebody with a larger account picks up that that post and repost you it just happens if they like your post and they repost you then lucky for you basically and so another uh, like spike in my follower count happened when I posted a picture of my weight loss and Lisa Nichols, the Lisa Nichols from The Secret, who I did not even know was following me on Instagram, she liked my picture, as you can see right here, she liked my picture, 
I flipped out. I was like, oh my god, Lisa Nichols just liked my picture. I didn't even know that she was following me. Ah! And so I took a screenshot and I reposted it in my Instagram story and I tagged her. Well, when I did that, she reposted it. And what happens when people repost your stuff? They expose you to their audience. And so that day that I was in her uh, Instagram story within 24 hours, I had gotten so many new people over to my page just from her reposting my picture. Another uh, little skirt I had in Instagram, you know how I like to, I visualize it, if you guys are old enough to remember like Super Mario Brothers and when he's driving in that car and he can hit that one like patch of something on the ground, I don't know what it is, but he's like you're driving the car and then you hit this patch and it's like zoom, like that's how I see um, my account when people have reposted me. Another spike that I had in my Instagram was one day when I was watching The Real and I saw Just Hilarious on there. Just Hilarious is from Baltimore and duh, so am I. So I was like, oh my gosh. And I posted her, I was like, hey Baltimore. Now Just Hilarious has over like 4 million followers. So when she reposted me, guess what happened? A slew of other people uh, started connecting with me on my page as well. So that's what I mean when I say create shareable content. It's not something that you can plan for, but you definitely want to tag people Whenever you uh, are talking about somebody, uh, share if you buy their book or buy a program, take a picture of it, tag them. Everybody wants to show that somebody bought my product and they're going to read, they're going to repost you. And when they do, people are curious. They want to see who you are and you may get some followers out of that. Number six is to create a bio. This is very important. Create a bio that when people land on your page, they're like, oh my goodness, where have you been? my entire life. So if you have a bio that says, I love Jesus, I love Jesus too, nothing wrong with that. I love Jesus, I love cats, and I love coffee. But what does that have to, like, that has nothing to do with me, okay? That's great for you, but what does that have to do with me? I'm fine, I wanna connect with people because I'm looking for something, I'm searching for something. So make sure that your bio states exactly what it is that you do, because that's the first thing that people are gonna see when they get to your page. That's the first thing that I do when I'm on Instagram. I wanna see, like, oh, what do they do? And it's in their bio, but if it's like, I love Jesus, I love cats, and I love dogs, like, Number seven is to use a good avatar. You know, the little picture that is connected to your Instagram. Make sure that if it's of your logo or if it's of yourself, if you're a life coach, I really uh, uh, encourage you to use a picture of yourself because you are the product, you are the brand. And so make sure that's like close up, crystal clear. It's not like a picture of you standing in like a wooded area and then you can barely, uh, you can barely see it. But really when I changed mine to this little picture, one here when I changed my I noticed that I got more followers and I changed my avatar to that my engagement went up my follower count went up and I was like oh okay that's all you had to do so make sure that your avatar is a good quality picture number eight the next thing that I did is I used hashtags now I know people that have built their Instagram using no hashtags whatsoever. I'm not that girl. I use hashtags to be able to reach more people, reach more targeted people. Um, and so creating hashtags or using hashtags is very important because uh, Instagram is a search engine, kind of not as big of a search engine as YouTube. When you're searching for something, you probably search by hashtag. So make sure that you are using relevant hashtags for your brand and for your niche. Number nine is that I paid to play. You got to pay to play. Remember I said money moves everything. So there have been three people that I've paid on Instagram to actually repost a post for me. Um, it's not buying followers. Don't ever, ever, ever buy followers. Like that's, it's stupid. Don't ever buy followers because it's pointless. But I actually, somebody that was, um, that does that, they do paid promotions. I've actually done that three different times. And the three different times I did it, I did get some traction, but I've gotten traction, more traction from the non-paid reposts that I've done than the posts. But always make sure that you guys are putting money behind your brand because money moves everything. And the last and final one, you guys, is to just be 
yourself. I can't express that enough. Be yourself. Yes, we can look at other accounts and we can be inspired and we can get inspiration, but at the end of the day, you want to be yourself because you're the only person you can be. Like for real, you're the only person that you can be like nobody else. So be yourself. Be comfortable and confident in your message because if you're not, you won't even up, you won't even post anything. You'll just scroll and watch everybody else live their dreams while you're sitting on the sideline wishing that you had the confidence to do so. Now that was the way that I was able to get over 10,000 amazing human beings following me on Instagram. I am, like I said, I'm not an expert on Instagram, but it wasn't, it wasn't, I, I didn't, um, I didn't do this by accident. It was very intentional. Like the, the biggest thing that I would say is to niche down to focus on your niche and create content for people in your niche and just make sure that your Instagram looks good. Make sure your pictures are clear, the quality is clear, and also teach classes. Like you cannot go wrong with those tips. So I hope that this video has helped you guys. Make sure that you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another video. And for those of you who are new coming into this field and you're a life coach and you want to get certified, you want to get trained, make sure that you add your name in the bottom in the description box below and be put on the waiting list so you'll be the first to know to be notified when I open up my certification program. I only open it up a few times a year where I train coaches and I certify them through my program. And I only do it a couple times a year so make sure that you're on the waiting list because it always sells out quick so I will see you guys in the next video